Reef Week is an initiative we had two years ago and um, what it is really is just a week of activities geared towards working with the community in a more interactive, fun setting versus us just going and talk to them about the environment. On Tuesday we would have had what we call Environment Fair Day and that day we would have had a series of, of partners partnering with us for that day but it was actually geared more towards school children so we had both primary and secondary school children from across the island. I think resilience is the ability of people to come together and come up with ways to find positive effects, to fight negative effects of climate change. As Canadians, to be more resilient, we should always be prepared. In cases of natural disasters such as hurricanes and if we are aware of climate change such as soil erosion and coastal lines erosion, we should find ways to battle these negative effects of climate change. Well, the type of structure I've seen is the sea coming in because how far, this, how far the land was to now is different. That the sea has taken more than half of the land into the scope. I think working together would be one of the best things to do because many minds work towards a goal to well, become better and move forward. Reef Week is an interesting thing, so it's a day you could expand your knowledge on what is um, reefs, you could learn about mangroves, and you could also expand your knowledge on different things. Reef Week for me is really nice. I have always been in the water go looking at reefs and all that, and I really find them beautiful. And when I heard that they were dying, when I saw that they were dying, I was really sad and uh, having the ability to learn more and more information about the reefs is really um, interesting. I would like to come back in the few years to come because just in case you have different um, inventions happening you could know how they they do it to protect um, our environment and to protect the earth from climate changes. I'll come back again every single year because it seems to me that there's always new information year after year, there's new findings, there's new discoveries and I'd like to keep up to date with these things. All of the students really enjoy the activity, they really enjoy the mangrove planting, they really enjoy the beach profiling. I think at the end of the day they all walked away learning but learning in a really interactive way what the environment is, what conservation is and what we can do to, to help just a little bit whatever we do whatever little we do actually goes a long way in helping conservation and helping communities along the way build their resilience to the impacts of climate change